today about the seven, count them, seven, subsidiary motions. Now, a subsidiary motion, think of it like a sort of a virus. Not a computer virus, but you know, <coughs> one, one that I've got right now, in fact. A virus cannot live outside a host cell. And a subsidiary motion cannot live without a main motion. So it all begins with the main motion. What a subsidiary motion is going to do, it's going to modify, it's going to postpone, or it's going to dispose of a main motion. And you'll see how that works. There are seven of them. And think of them also as sort of like computer files. If you work with Windows, you've got the file system, or a directory system, a subdirectory going down the tree. When you close up a program, I would say, you don't normally just pull the plug on your computer and go, go to bed. You probably close up the files one after the other in a certain order before you shut down your computer. And so it is with handling the subsidiary motions. They have an order of priority, one to seven. We're going to start with the least priorities, least priority one, and we'll work down to number seven, which has the highest priority. Before we do that, I want to define one thing, and that is the pending motion. If you think of these like file folders, one to seven, it's easy to get confused. Where are we in this process? Where are we in this tree, this directory tree? That's the job of the presiding officer, and it's also the job of the members of the assembly to be aware, what are we focusing on? At what point? You can only talk about one topic at one time. The assembly can only decide one topic at one time. You'll see as we go down the tree, there is a certain logic to that, how that works. Let's see the first. Postpone it definitely. I can characterize this as the topic's too hot and we don't want to touch it. Just think, imagine there might be a subject, somebody brings up a motion that if it came to a vote, could divide the club. Could we put a split right down the middle of the club. Let's just say, for example, this club cannot vote for a district governor. We cannot elect a district governor ourselves. But suppose we could. We have two people in the room who want to be district governor. And we know if one of them is elected, the other person is going to take his, his plan to go to a new club. He's going to split the club apart. We don't want to touch that. In other words, we don't want to make a decision on it. So we postpone it, that main motion, indefinitely. Now, this is interesting. It requires, you have to make a motion. It requires a second. And you can debate back and forth, back and forth. But now, because we're making a very, very important decision here, make sure we need a majority, of course, as always, to put the thing, we're not going to touch it. It's too hot to handle. Let's go to number two. We spend a lot of time on this one. This is the one that's used most often. Now, there are three ways to amend a motion. Any amendment has to be what we call germane. It's spelled like German with the E at the end of it. What it means is it has to, any amendment has to relate to the main motion in some ways. I'll give you a good example. Say you want to make a motion to commend an officer of this club for the job the officer has done. Another person can put up his hand and say, I want to amend the motion by striking out the word commend and putting in the word condemn. <laughs> that motion is in order. Even though it turns it upside down, 360 degrees, well, 180 actually, <laughs> it is still the reaction of the club to the officer. So that is a valid amendment if you want to make it. Now there are three ways to make an amendment. One way would be to add words, to insert words or add words. I moved at the club, purchase a new PC. That's the main motion. Another member gets up and he's going to add some words. I've been shopping, I've been looking around, and PCs, I want to add at the end of the motion not to cost more than $1,000. That is an amendment. And now debate focuses on that topic. 
1,000, yes. 1,000 limit, no. That is the pending motion. A second way to make a, an amendment is to strike out a word from the original main motion. The original main motion was, I move the club to buy a new PC. One member could say, I want to amend the motion to read, strike out the word new. The club should purchase a PC. That becomes the focus of the debate, yes. New or any kind of PC. And then there's a third way to make an amendment, to strike out and insert words. Main motion, the club should buy a new PC. Member could put up his hand and say, I want to amend the motion to read, strike out the word PC and insert notebook, computer. Then the debate focuses on notebook or PC. And once that's decided, then you can proceed to the main vote. That's how you amend. A motion to amend a main motion is debatable. You can debate it if the motion that you're amending is also debatable. And it requires a majority vote. It gets pretty complicated here because you can actually have an amendment to the amendment. Sorry. But that's as far as it goes. Never allow more than one amendment to an amendment because it just gets ridiculous and crazy. Give you an example how this might work. Main motion. I move the club should buy a new PC. Another member puts up his hand. I move to amend the motion to read the club should buy a new PC to cost not more than $1,000. And the third person puts up his hand and says, I, amend, I move to amend the amendment to read not more than $1,000 net. You can do that. And then that's the focus. That is the pending, pending motion. If the club decides, ah, this net thing's not such a good idea, we, we vote against it, then you're back to new PC costing $1,000. If you don't think 1000 cap is a good idea, then you're back to the club should buy a new PC. And then you can put on other amendments and amendments, but you can only do two at a time. Okay? Let's move on to number three. I have a question. Well, at the end. At the end. Because like, we, I really got to get through here. Number three. Refer to a committee. This happens. Let's say there's a, a topic which we don't have the expertise for. We just don't have the confidence <coughs> to make a decision. So we refer it to a committee for study. That can happen a committee of experts. If you make this motion, you have to specify two things. First, who is the committee? And secondly, when should they give their report? Typical would be, I move to refer this question to buy a new PC to a committee to be appointed by our chairman, and the committee will report back to us at our next meeting. That is a good motion to refer to committee. What the club is doing essentially is washing its hands of the decision, it's letting the committee make that decision. Make sure I get this straight now. If there's an amendment to the main motion, and an amendment to the amendment, you refer the whole thing to the committee. Let them handle it. Let them hash it out. It's debatable but only about the wisdom of referring to the committee. No debate about PC versus laptop. None of that. It's just simply this question should be sent to committee. It's the only thing you talk about. You need a majority vote to do it. And you require a second, and it is debatable. Next one. Almost halfway through. Postpone to a certain time. Consider something later. This, essentially, number one, is a killer. It kills the question. It's too hot to handle. We don't want to touch it. Get rid of it. <laughs> you can't rave of it. Yes. Now, postpone to a certain time. Yes, you do want to handle it. The assembly doesn't want to push it off to a committee. But maybe we don't have enough information right now. Or maybe we just received the information at this moment. We want a chance to look at it first. So here, you can make a decision, a motion, to postpone it to 
later in the meeting or to the very next meeting, no further than the next meeting. If, let's say, today we wanted to decide to move to a new location, but maybe we don't have enough members here, or certain key members are not present at this meeting, it wouldn't be fair to take a decision without them, well then we'll postpone it at the latest to our next meeting in two weeks. It's debatable, but again, only the postponement is debatable. Not about the wisdom of changing rooms. All we're talking about here is focusing on postpone yes, postpone no. Let's see, do we need here? Majority's good. Number five. I like this one. Limit or extend limits of debate. Never extend limits of debate. No. Limit <laughs> that. There are a couple things you could limit. You could like, limit the time each speaker gets. I move that each speaker speak no more than five minutes on this topic. Or I move that only four speakers for and four speakers against <coughs> will speak on this topic. Or I move that all debate should be finished on this pending motion by 8.30, at which point we should proceed to a vote. All of these things are possible. You can do this. But you are now infringing a little bit on the rights of the group. The group is forfeiting its right to talk forever. And to do that, now you need a two-thirds majority. Because some people would say, no, I want to talk until midnight about this. So I don't see why we should limit it. So two-thirds of the group have to find this as a good idea for it to pass. If you have a main motion and two amendments, and let's say a motion to refer to the committee, and a motion to postpone to a certain time, that's possible, you can have all of that. You can limit this debate, or you can limit debate on everything. It depends how you word your motion. And it depends whether two thirds of the assembly agrees with your motion. Let's move on. Previous question. I like this one too. Don't let the title fool you. It stops debate on the pending motion. Let's just stop debating and vote right now. Not at 8.30, not after 20 people have spoken. No, right now. When do you use this? You use this when you think that you've heard all the arguments you need to hear. You now have enough information to make an informed decision. Or, you're listening to the arguments in the room and you're beginning to hear it's repeating itself. It's just going around in circles. We've heard this all before. We have enough information. You have to make a motion. You have to be recognized by the chair. And it has to be seconded. But here, there is no debate. Why? Because you either stop debating or you continue debating. Black and white. There's no yes or no about it. There's one just yes or no. That's all there is. There's no debate about it. And yes, it requires a two-thirds majority because, again, you're shutting the door. And some people may not want that door shut in their face. You need two-thirds for it to pass. Come up to the number seven. Lay on table. No, this is not a stage direction from the film The Postman Rings Twice. <laughs> well, does anybody remember records? Yeah. You remember that film, you remember records, okay? Okay, final records, yeah? You've got a, what they call the tone arm down there. If you want to stop the music, you could just lift up the tone arm. And then when you're ready to listen to it again, you just let it down again, and it picks up magically just where it left off. And that's what this is for. Let's say we're having a normal club evening here, and then suddenly the mayor of Munich, Christian Ude, walks in. And he wants to speak to our group. But we know he isn't going to stay until 9 o'clock. He only has 15 minutes. But we're debating something right now about buying a new PC for the club. Well, here you say, I move to lay this thing on the table until our mayor has spoken to us 
And then once he's finished, you put the tone arm back down. I move to remove it from the table and continue debating. Let's see, what do we need here to make it work? Requires a second, is not debatable. You either do it or you don't. It's as simple as that, so there's no debate. It requires only a majority vote. Now, we have the seven motions. Order of preference, this one has to be handled first. You either do it or you don't. Then you close this file folder if it's open. You could have, you could have a main motion, club should buy a, a new PC, amendment, not to cost more than $1,000, amendment to the amendment, not to cost more than $1,000 net, a motion to refer to the committee, and then somebody says, well, I don't know about this committee thing, let's consider this thing later, and then somebody says, well, I make a motion that we limit the, talk, the time we talk on this business of computer. And then someone moves to say, I move that we stop debating and get to it. And you have a motion to lay on the table when you go down the tree. What you cannot do in the course of a meeting is you can't backtrack. If you've got this baby on the table, if this is the pending motion, you can't do that. You can't amend. You can't go back. So now that we've seen the seven, I would like to do a little mini-meeting. And I would like to entertain a motion from the floor. Let's say the club should buy the coordinator, the presenter of parliamentary procedures in action. The club should buy him a new car. I'll entertain that motion. Who would like to make it? Yes. I would like for the club to buy a new PC. New car for me. Oh, new car. <laughs> new car. I don't say that. I second it. I, I I second it. <laughs> okay. Main motion. Main motion is now on the floor. The club should buy me a new car. Start having fun. Moving down the tree. I'd like to propose an amendment. Yes. I'd like to amend it to say to buy you a used toy car. <laughs> not more than 35 cents. <laughs> I'm Scottish. <laughs> okay, the motion has been made to insert the words use toy car not to exceed 35. Is there a second for that? Second. Yes, we move in second that the club should buy me a used toy car for not more than 35 cents. Any discussion? Sir? I would like to make an amendment to that amendment. It has to be a Rolls Royce. Use toy car, toy car, toy Rolls Royce. Right. Okay. Is there a second for that amendment? Yeah. Second. Okay. It has been moved and seconded that the club should buy me a used toy Rolls Royce car, not to exceed more than 35 cents. Yes. Was it euros? Cents. Euros. 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 Okay. So now, now we have the first and the second amendment. You can't put any more amendments on, but the world's your oyster. Can I oppose it? Can we have a discussion on it now? Yeah. Uh, I, sir. I move to refer to a committee. <sighs> refer to a committee? Yeah. Okay. Is there a second on that? If there is no second, the motion dies. We're back to... Then I wish to postpone it to the next meeting on the grounds that it's such an important decision involving so much of our money, 35 cents, it's a lot of money to Scott, I suggest we propose it to the next meeting so other members have the time to, the chance to speak about it. Okay, it has been moved to postpone to the next meeting. This is debatable, but only on the amendments of this, of, it needs a second, is there a second? I, or we can de debate it. No, you have to have a second first. Okay. If there is no second, the motion dies. We're back to the club should buy me. Uh, English. <laughs> I would like to propose a limit that David shouldn't speak for more than five seconds. <laughs> I second. <laughs> it has moved and seconded to the tenth of David to the first five seconds. Now, this requires that we are restricting. He is a member of our assembly. Even though he's Scottish, he's a member of our assembly. <laughs> and we are limiting his rights, even though he is Scottish. <laughs> so we now must have a two-thirds vote. 
Is, it, is there anyone in, all in favor of limit David's participation to five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> one, two. Do we not need a two thirds majority for this? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think you're the next to him. Point of order. <laughs> do we have a quorum? <laughs> oh, we do. Oh, we do. Who's <laughs> opposed? Limiting. Oh, non member. Oh, no, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> then that is also... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're in the red zone now, so I will entertain as the chairman a motion to adjourn, because I cannot adjourn the meeting myself as the chairman. Yes? I propose that we adjourn and take this back in two weeks on the 4th of April. Second. 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 Is the move second to postpone or to postpone this to two weeks, the first meeting in April? All those opposed? All those in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. All those opposed? One, two, three, four. Simple majority is required. The motion passes. This session is adjourned. <laughs>